name is Stacey Jensen and thank you for visiting Color Veil. Today we're going to show you one of our most favorite and new actions called the fixings. This action was developed so that you could do everything all in one action. It's really the best technique to save yourself the time and quickly get to the end result. If you're a clean editor and you already know the importance of exposure and just a few additions, this action is really for you. So I'm going to show you, we started with this beautiful photo from Daisy Photography. Here is the after and it's just going to take us a few seconds. So let's get rid of the action and we're going to go ahead and play it again. This action comes with various exposure fixes, color toners, and the important hair, eye, skin, and even an additional mat for those that are Photoshop users. Um, if you're an Elements user, this action will be very similar. There's going to be a couple things that are slightly different. As soon as you run the action, there's already some of my most important layers turned on that I find I use on every photo. Um, but there are even more. As you can see, just from running it, we get um, a better exposure. But there's so many layers in here that you just turn on per your needs of that photograph. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, which is all the different exposure type of layers, and I'm going to turn on BAM. I know I'm going to need that. I really want this to pop. Then I'm going to quickly come over and start with some of our major adjustments. For Photoshop users, you'll have a paint on color pop. I click the black layer mask, get a white paint brush, which will already be selected for you, and I quickly just paint right over the outfit. I find that this in the shoes. I find it's perfect to bring out the outfit. I'm going to switch over to black and paint back off. I noticed I painted a little on his skin. I'm then going to zoom in for you, change my opacity down very low because I also want to use this color pop right on his hair a little bit. That and I need a white paintbrush. I'm sorry about that. So let's go with 13% switch over to a white paintbrush. So I'm hitting the um, X on my keyboard to switch over. Now I can put that back up to 100%. Come back over, click on the black layer mask of the twinkly eye, get a smaller brush, click the eyes. So we're gonna zoom in, click the other eye. Now I'm going to change the opacity of this down to a more traditional level, something acceptable. I keep it a bit high in the action so that you can see where you're clicking. Then I'm going to go over to the hair and lips. Again, black layer mask. I'm going to paint this all over the hair. And I'm going to get a smaller brush and paint onto the lips. Okay, now I'm going to click on the black layer mask of the skin. Get a little larger of a brush and paint all over the skin. Now with this, again, it's a little bit of um, a too smooth. And we do that so that you can see where you're painting. So I'm going to bring that down to about 20%. Remember to paint on the neck area and down the forearms just slightly. Okay. And then I'm going to go over to the paint on mat. Again, this one is for Photoshop users. I'm going to get a large brush and I love to put a matte feel onto trees. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm also going to put some matte in the very front of the photograph. And we are all set. You can also, again, there are some great um, layers such as darkening if you needed more depth. So we could even turn that on and then I would probably lower that opacity just to about um, 9 to 10 percent. So here is the before, sorry about that, here is the before and here is the after. I apologize for the mouse issues. The um, batteries are going dead, but it gives you a great for and after in one action. Thank you so much for watching.